Someone who used to hold a high position in your life. Someone who had a close bond with you is going through some mental challenges. Hmm. Someone's going through some mental challenges for being all talk, hasty, breaking promises, being in conflict with self, or bringing conflict to you. This is someone who has a lot of tension and conflict going on in their life, and I feel like they're being petty because they feel defeated. Because in so many ways, this is someone who is trying or still trying to win at all costs. Especially when it comes to a connection. We have the Two of Cups coming out in reverse, so there could be a breakup, an imbalance when it comes to a, r a relationship. This is a lack of harmony within a situation where someone was trying to get away with something strategically here with the Seven of Swords in the reverse. We also have the Page of Swords here, someone being all talk but being hasty with their words. The Page of Swords is coming out in the reverse because someone has made the wrong choice here with the Two of Swords. This is indecision when it comes to truth. Something has stalled when it comes to someone who is blocking their emotions and even a truth there's an imbalance because of someone's immaturity mm. ace of cups is letting me know there's an imbalance due to somebody's blocks when it comes to emotions compromise yet there are um, overwhelming emotions here it's connected to the two of cups love mm. emotions where someone's not stepping up and not giving in there's a lot of chaos and lack of clarity connected to this energy who is still manipulating things and hoping that you follow. But there's a lack of control as well as, as well as direction, meaning many of you are not willing to follow someone who's obviously lost, manipulating things, abusive. There's a breakdown in communication where someone could be in transit or still, still not being truthful, very indecisive when it comes to clarity. Hmm. I feel here with the Justice card here in the reverse, someone is lacking accountability. They're being dishonest. Someone is being a fool. This is someone who is risking it all, not realizing they're getting nothing in return. Because there's a lack of energy coming from you. Because they have a lack of teamwork. This is someone who is disregarding everything, being dismissive when it comes to their position, your emotions. There's trying to control something. Hmm. Yeah, we have double energy here, accompanied by the Four of Pentacles, as well as the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Teamwork is not working out. Everything that you tried, this person has broken your trust and disappointed you in so many ways. This is how someone has tried to control something, but this, but this is also how they lost you. Trying to get away with something strategically. Hmm. Trying to win at all costs. Five of Swords. Someone was trying to tempt you, bind you, heal with the devil energy, hoping that they could bind you from a new perspective when it comes to how they choose to treat you. But I feel how they chose to treat you was unfair here with the Justice card in the reverse. We also have the Five of Wands in the reverse. There's just a lot of conflict or someone trying to avoid this conflict that they have created hmm. because they're starting to see that it didn't tie you down it didn't bind you you're coming out of something or this energy just feels like you gave up and they're really trying to hold on to something hold on to you hold on to the connection that they have to you for many of you you feel like this energy really never cared but they care about the connection that once binded you they're confused to why you're not trying but I feel it's because there's a sense of unfairness of someone being dishonest, not being accountable, and this is what created change, transformation, transition, an ending, where you were being practical, down to earth. I feel there's security when it comes to you, Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. Also, intuition here with the High Priestess energy. We also have the Nine of Pentacles, which is wish fulfillment. Someone's trying to control your wish fulfillment, your comfort, your satisfaction and happiness, but I feel you have to be practical where someone was just being petty. 
That was something that you did. Brought something to completion here with the world card. Manifestation when it comes to closure, high priestess energy, as well as a foundation, new finances, opportunities coming your way. I feel you manifesting. Some of you are journaling, journaling or praying. Please take it how it resonates. That is not for everyone, but I do see harmony within a situation that's bringing you to a sense of alignment. This doesn't have to connect to another human being. This looks like something that you are doing for self. Stability. Hmm. Mental peace. This brings harmony within your home. Within self. Emotions. Queen of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. This is very important energy here. As well as the High Priestess energy. Because I see you leveling up in so many ways. Someone's not ready for that because someone's trying to control your destiny. Someone's trying to control your outlook, but someone feels like you gave up. You you are walking into your blessing no matter what they do, what they say, how they try to construct their lives. You avoid something here. You avoid something by being an ending. We have a tower moment in the reverse. So it looks to me here with the death card... Something being laying to rest or something changing abruptly causes you to move on. And this is not something many of you are willing to do of free will. You were pushed to do this. But I also feel divine intervention and your ancestors had to step in here. Because for many of you, you've never really given up on anything. Hmm. But I feel now you're moving on, accepting something. You're forgiving self hmm. as well as others. Hmm. I see you moving forward after avoiding a disaster. I feel things went wrong, but I feel things really could have went into a darker space. But I feel your ancestors had to interrupt something when it comes to someone who is avoiding everything right now. I feel you're stepping into a new space here, moving on, accepting something when it comes to forgiveness of self or someone else. I see harmony, happiness, alignment. <sighs> You avoiding a disaster brings in someone's sphere of change. You're thinking quickly. So, for many of you, you think well on your feet. Especially when you feel someone is trying to take advantage of you. Because you have changed your world or you have changed the world of someone else. By making moves that they thought you couldn't. I see good luck here with the world. Will of fortune. Hmm. Good luck when it comes to life cycles, destiny. I see a turning point when I see you moving forward. Whether that is out of regret. Many of you know it. It was necessary. Because I see you creating change in your life. Out of struggle, heartache, pain. Brings wisdom. The Hermit card as well as the King of Wands. You're stepping into a different light here. You're... Hmm, you're stepping into a space where there's rite of passage. Wow. So this rite of passage brings in the energy of you being organized or more organized. Hmm. For many of you, this is not something that you plan. Some of this kind of just falls in your lap, but I see you going with the flow. This brings in true ambition for a natural born leader, someone who has honor or vision. This is someone who is in hermit mode, isolation, searching, soul searching, and I see you finding that through inner guidance. Hmm. Wow. So, many of you are naturally in a position that you are supposed to be in, and that's even through the heartache and pain. I see you persevering here with the Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. I see you profiting through your heartache. Your pain, soul searching, finding new ways of being. Hmm. I feel many of you didn't calculate what you're about to step into, but I feel it's more than what you wanted or believed that you deserved. Ace of Wands is letting me know that this is an inspired action. Whether that is on your behalf or the behalf of others, I see you stepping into a new cycle where your potential is being illuminated. I see you finding a different sense of self here in hermit mode. Hmm. I see you being recognized for something, having a victory privately, 
or even publicly, but I see progress, self-confidence, vision. Someone could be an entrepreneur or someone's getting a raise or someone is changing jobs or someone is just moving in a different way that is prosperous for you. Hmm. Moving away from the pain, I see luxury. Hmm. Wow. I see you being more powerful through your potential. I see you manifesting here with the magician card. I see you manifesting within your pinnacles. I feel you manifesting when creating distance between those who betrayed you. Hmm. I see wealth and inheritance, whether that is through wisdom, finances. Something is coming your way that is really big here. Some, something that would lead you to a space of gratitude. But whatever it is, it's leading you to be overflowing. There is love, relationships, alignment when it comes to choices, as well as values wow so in the beginning of the reading i see you evolving i see you stacking doing the hard work mm. wow so here with the nine of pentacles i see you doing the work and having something to show for it here with the queen of pentacles but i see you ascending into some emotions some things happen that put you in your feelings but i feel like that also put you in a space where you knew you needed to be to yourself to get something right, understand something for what it is. The High Priestess energy is intuitive. Many of you, you learned your lessons when it comes to heartache, betrayal, and pain. For many of you, I feel you have survived some things that many could never understand or even take. But I feel this is an evolution when it comes to someone who went from the Nine of Pentacles to <sighs> Empress Energy, someone who is fertile, beautiful, nurturing, abundant, intuitive, emotional, loving, nurturing, practical, down to earth, and reaping from your rewards. This is all after being bound by something that should have brought you joy but I feel there was a downfall because someone could not step into position someone's trying to do something strategically and lost you broke your heart disappointed you just because they were trying to win at all costs now something is up something is over something is out when it comes to the past I see you preparing for something. I see restriction, foresight. I see enterprise. I see innocence. Wow. I see someone is being restricted from your energy because they were challenging the status quo. They were challenging you. Not wanting you to grow. Hmm. Not wanting you to outgrow them. I sense there is tension in this situation because someone knows that they broke the bond and cause you to go into hermit mode. Hmm. Someone doesn't like this new you because it doesn't make room for them. But this is someone who knows they owe you more than an apology if their passive aggressive behaviors or silent treatment shows otherwise. I feel this is someone who has put you in a space where you're not willing to share or give in. I feel many of you could be in recovery when it comes to spiritual damage or finances, sacrifice, loss, something that should have been long term became temporary because of someone's restrictions, lies. However, as I said before, something is moving forward for you regardless. I see you doing something out of routine here with the Knight of Pentacles. There are con conversations being had by you or about you but regardless of what's being said I see you slipping into comfort happiness satisfaction wish fulfillment we also have the page of wands I see you exploring finding your way because I see discovery from someone who has become a free spirit and manifesting when it comes to courage compassion and strength I see you controlling something after having no control at all. But I see three is a crowd and someone is wanting to move quickly towards you after seeing what you step into. Someone doesn't want to be in the past or someone you used to know, but they're still playing games. I feel this is someone who wants recognition, 
someone knows that you are a natural born energy lover leader hmm. and in so many ways they know that you you dodged a bullet and they're being very low vibrational about it because this is someone who deliberately misunderstood you or shut you out to trigger anxiety or even intrigue someone wanted you to follow hmm. be curious someone wanted you to be dramatic but once you did something different someone was left without a clue on how to get next to you or even under your skin but I feel the tides have turned here with the will of fortune I see good luck coming your way and someone can see that someone is upset at the fact that you have turned your back or even given up here with the seven of wands in the reverse Someone's so used to having your control over this situation or even over you that they have lost their way due to their despair, lack of faith. This is someone who has discouraged you and everyone else because they are sitting in that energy. However, at this point, things are just getting worse by the moment. As I sense things have turned in some type of way, there's a turn of the tables. As I sense there's some type of calm moment or event that shows you and everyone else that nothing's really adding up. Because in so many ways, something is missing when it comes to this immature energy who has lost their way and sitting in a space of despair, hurting others because they're hurt. Let's get some more energy here from another deck. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. So, let's jump into the energy here, Holy Spirit. What are the messages here that best represent the message, the energy? All right. Let's get some energy here. This is definitely someone who needs to set the record straight, but they're not. As I said before, they're being passive-aggressive. Giving you the silent treatment. Still not setting the record straight when it comes to a nightmare or the fact that they know they got caught. Someone is still trying to ride something out, keeping secrets, giving fake apologies. Only because they're trying to look over the fact that they can't put you in your place. Hmm. Someone's trying to keep secrets or stay silent just to affect you emotionally, but they're also starting to see that starting to weigh out. Putting you in your place is just not going to happen. Not even this fake apology, but this energy is still putting on the show. Writing something out even though they know something has expired when it comes to setting the record straight. I feel this is someone who is wanting to give you a fake apology because they're living a nightmare, still keeping secrets because they know what kind of damage it can do. This is why someone was trying to set some type of illusion when it comes to their happiness. When deep down they know they really screwed some stuff up trying to throw something away, someone is still putting on a show knowing something has expired, something is old news, someone knows they got caught, they're upset, they're very emotional because they know they should have fought for this, there's depression, someone could be sick to their stomach, someone's having some emotional or mental issues, this could also be some type of stress related situation where someone is stressed out and having some type of side effects due to it but someone doesn't like the fact that you are standing in your power or standing your ground defending yourself or just you just don't want to hear it you're over the drama been there done that it's not something you haven't seen or heard before because of someone's insecurities they destroyed something broke something it's shattered and it's not something that they can easily replace. Many of you are cautious when it comes to a runner. They know something is over. When it comes to their lies, controlling ways, them trying to pull the strings. Or even their bad choices because due to these fake friends. The, those they thought they could trust. Something has ended. Something has ended for good. And for some of you. They've got their heart broke as well. I feel this is someone who didn't see something coming when it comes to the choices they chose to make. They thought they could manipulate something forever, pull the strings when it comes to 
being fake, phony themselves, but something is falling apart when it comes to a runner. In fact, someone is getting a reality check. Someone is needing to check themselves, but the fact that they have yet to do it, I feel life is definitely giving them a run for their money. Because when I say nothing is adding up, nothing is adding up. And it seems to be a melting pot of all of their issues of running, destroying what should have been a great foundation, fake friends, trying to replace you, their insecurities, bad choices, something that has expired them trying to ride something out. They're getting a reality check about this because they're caught up in living a nightmare and not wanting to expose that, but they're trying to affect you through silence. Someone is trying to affect you through silence because they know they're affected by your silence because they see now they can't control anyone they can't even control themselves they're starting to realize how fake everyone is and they're starting to realize they never should have betrayed you through deceit being a traitor because now things are exploding or going up in flames or I feel something is definitely about to pop off but they also know it won't burn away any of the evidence because someone is wanting to come in after your heart but many of you already know the tea when it comes to them not realizing to realizing the difference between salt and sugar because for many of you you've already learned your lesson when seeing the truth in others because you're protecting yourself as you should <sighs> you're protecting yourself from energies that never really had a reason to hate anything about you because as i said before what they're going through had nothing to do with you hmm. i feel like they just they're just in a cycle where everything is like a melting pot of all of their issues and problems which has now become very overwhelming because it's not something that they were prepared for because someone is just not over you completely yet they're having anger management issues someone could be kicked to the curb or they're just trying to tackle some unfamiliar things but someone is in the dark because they want to be I also feel like this person is faded to black because they feel like you're going to investigate but I also feel it's in an effort to get you to follow yet I feel in so many ways they have yet to even realize many of you have already stopped trying to compromise or resolve something when you never truly felt heard or seen when it comes to someone who is always making bad choices and playing with your heart because I feel in so many ways when things stop adding up you have to subtract yourself from a situation even when it broke your heart but you doing what you know was right is the very reason you're being rewarded for your pain someone knows they were trying to pull the strings because they were insecure but something has expired when it comes to them writing something out with a copycat someone they thought could replace you but they also feel they're being betrayed by something or someone else. They're really insecure, knowing they can't control something. But the fact that you are protecting yourself or you're cautious, someone's having to deal with these fake energies. And that's the real reality check. Because at this point, you don't want to hear it. And you're standing on that. And the fact that you're standing on it, someone's sick. That is all falling apart. Someone knows they screwed something up by running away. They're emotional about it, but this energy knows they can't be too deep about it because they never fought for something. But it is bringing on a sense of depression because they know they brought this nightmare on themselves by trying to keep something secret when they should have just set the record straight. Instead, this energy was petty. Even though they know they were caught, they put on a show. Hmm. Hoping to put you in your place, but I feel this is someone who tried to deprive you at their own expense. Let's get another deck out here, you guys. Hmm. So, for many of you, this energy keeping secrets and giving fake apologies or nothing at all, this is a vicious cycle. 
someone is stuck in patterns, believing something would change, but I feel bad so since I've been saying it and doing the same thing over and over again, believing they would get different results, but someone is just playing dumb, naive, to the fact that they're not growing. Someone is playing dumb in a vicious cycle where they know something isn't growing, something isn't enough, when it comes to something that is very fragile because it's starting to melt away, it's declining because someone is still being fake, blind, and being self-righteous when it comes to things they know they're doing wrong. This is why something is out of sync because someone is pretending. Pretending to be okay when they know they're not. I feel this is someone who pretends everything is fine when they know something is out of sync because they took a risk. But I also feel this risk of leaving something up in the air. It's just a waste of time because someone knows where they want to be, yet they're still pretending they don't need you just to manipulate you. This is someone who's putting on a false front because they're in a dark mood. Instability is circling around this energy who is taking a lot of risk and wasted a lot of time where something was very fragile. Someone tried to put on a show and manipulate things by pretending that they were growing, but they were blinded to the truth, playing dumb when it comes to being out of sync and self-righteous when it comes to the vicious cycle. I feel this is someone who is lacking free will or just lacking when it comes to will at all because this is someone who is not moving, they're paralyzed, they're staying stuck when it comes to the confusion they, they have created. This is someone who is playing coy when it comes to their dark side, but I feel this is someone who is still not letting go of that and this is why many of you are just moving forward because you see they're limited. And this is why many of you had to move forward. You lost faith in someone who has yet to know their potential. Hmm. Someone is not reaching out because they're still trying to escape their fury. They're in a hurry because they know something is intense. They're in a hurry in a different direction. But I feel something is pushing something to a boiling point when it comes to what they're trying to not see. No foresight. Too busy to see. But it's going to leave them powerless and in the dark, blaming fate. Because this is someone who has no boundaries and this is why things are moving slow. Mm. But I feel someone is upset that you're no longer hypnotized because they never wanted things to change. This is why they're still being sneaky. Mm. But I feel in so many ways something is really getting to them because your distance and silence is speaking volumes to someone who's used to getting under your skin or just manipulating things and having their way. But I feel them pretending to be too busy it has definitely become your energy lately because someone was trying to waste time by playing with you. They just might have lost you. So whether it's an emotional response or no response at all, someone is trying to get under your skin, hoping they can affect you because you're no longer giving in. I feel this is someone who wants you to feed into their toxic ways, but I feel you losing faith or even respect has been the biggest damage that they could have ever made. Now they're just trying to use things against you, your words, your actions. This is someone who is just completely out of sync. And many of you just don't have the patience or the time to deal with a pretender who is still playing dumb to a vicious, vicious cycle. Final card here, one more card. Yeah, someone knows that you have lost faith. You know, something is out of sync and someone needs to do the work to come your way. I feel many of you are no longer trying to fix something that is not your job to fix something you never broke something that is completely fragile someone needs to stop pretending that there hasn't been a great divide or decline hmm. but I do feel you setting boundaries or taking a step back from a situation is causing someone to deal with their shit or deal with some toxic ways and emotions that they're not used to dealing with 
because instead of evolving and resolving their issues, they've just made things more complicated and complex. I feel this energy has just made things worse. We're going to do one final deck here for confirmation, you guys. Of course, let me know if you have enjoyed the reading down below by liking the message or commenting down below. Final message, you guys. Holy Spirit, what are the messages here for the collective energies? For many of you, I feel like something is out of sync because this connection was what it was worth because of you. And once you lost your faith or your hope, in this situation there was a decline because you were no longer putting in the work and since they never did something was bound to fail because they were still blind playing dumb and pretending that something wasn't fragile or the fact that they were just not growing hmm. for many of you someone didn't expect you to be stern King of Swords, someone didn't expect you to choose head over heart. There's discipline here. Someone feels like you're just giving tough love, but I feel it's tough because you just might be out of that love. Three of Swords energy, there's a lot of heartache and pain, emotional energy through a breakup where there's betrayal. Uh, this leads you to a Queen of Wands energy where you're fertile, things are growing. I see you reaping reward, Empress energy, Three of Cups energy, there is, there is something to celebrate hmm. after feeling trapped or isolated. I feel this is someone who didn't want you to see something about you, hmm. but I feel you found something about self for a source energy. This is through a timeout, rest and recuperation, meditation. After being overwhelmed, three of swords, heartbreak, emotional pain. Hmm. Wow. Something is about to make you bolder. You were born for something. There's choices to be made, opportunities to be had. I feel this is inspiration coming your way. This is passionate energy coming your way. You being mature about a situation definitely puts you on a different level. In fact, I feel like it's more of an untouchable level where I see contentment, satisfaction, transformation through sacrifice. I see you waiting on something but getting more than what you asked for through breakthroughs, Ace of Swords. Oh. We also have the Five of Swords energy here. I see breakthrough after tension, loss, worry. Wow. Even a negative mindset for some of you. But I see you struggling through something that brings in transition, completion. I see you letting go of something that makes you just hmm, that much more powerful. Wow. I feel there is a lot coming your way after being withdrawn, going in solitude. Finding inner guidance here in the hermit energy. I see you stepping into the unknown stepping into a new beginning taking a leap of faith and this is after being very spontaneous I see you being patient mm. but I feel patience brings in power resources creativity action mm. and this is something that you're guided to do after sacrifice betrayal get getting rid of the baggage and accepting something through lessons overcoming hardship Bringing in the will of fortune through life cycles, good luck, karma, turning points. This is positive change and movement, opportunity for you, where you're following your heart and bringing in sudden change in the process. I see you stepping in into a very generous phase in your life where you're not giving but receiving. I see a death and rebirth, transformation, and this is huge because this is going to bring someone to a big sense of regret for trying to take something from you. I feel there is going to be heartbreak and isolation. Someone is going to feel very unwelcome due to the changes that you make, but I also feel there is a sense of despair because they know they're the reason something broke or they are the ones who walked away. This is someone who set off a chain of events and they know it. Because had they not made their choices, something would have never been damaged. 
But as I said before, many of you had to ignore this on so many levels just to keep from coming out of character or, or allowing someone to weigh you down as you have come so far, which will bring you to a point where you're just not taking it personal anymore. Their actions, their mistakes, because it's just who they are and their habits and their choices are the same with or without you. Despite the fact that some things still disappoint you, that they could never seem to get things right, yet I see you starting to realize that not every storm that is created in your life is sent to disrupt, but to also clear a path. Clear a path for what is coming next when it comes to a free spirit that once felt naive because from what I can see I see good news when it comes to learning manifesting new jobs being diligent I see a solid beginning hmm. I also see a message coming your way this could be through a text email this could be through third-party energy here but this is something that will lift a burden lift stress from your life I also see structure investments I see growth I see stocks I see harvest I see effort. I also see you being patient, but I also see this being the beginning to a very beautiful thing for you. Mm. I see you stepping into a very solid foundation that brings someone a lack of sleep because of the fact that they realize what they lost by having an ongoing battle. Mm bringing worry to your life through illusion and confusion. Someone is upset because they didn't grow and invest in you. They only brought tension, arguments through ego, rivalry, obstacles your way. That has now become their own ten of wands. I feel this is someone who's, who's burnt out, hmm. trying to keep going, but they're moving around like a martyr, like this is someone who is heavily burdened and having a lot of responsibilities but still bringing arguments and tension because they're going through challenges, chaos, an awakening, a reckoning while you're stepping into a space of star energy, inspiration, hope. We also have the Ace of Cups energy where I do see you defending self through new beginnings, new love, new emotions. I see you in the first stages of a rebirth, an offer, something that inspires you. I also see you being kind of defensive about something, but I feel you standing in your power or seeing something for what it is kind of calms that down. Whatever is owed to you is coming straight towards you. We have the higher front energy here, higher teachings, values. You're stepping into something that belongs to you no matter what. It has your name on it. I see you stepping into tradition, structure, power I see you finding loyalty within others mm. security some someone could be starting a business as well I see that being very inspiring into your life or someone just changing something that becomes very big for you mm. you're very ambitious or popular Wow so I also see confidence or something coming your way that you didn't see coming your way I see you reaping rewards, hmm. reaping rewards through inheritance or old money tradition, hmm. marrying up, or I see legacy, something involving your roots, windfall, business, empires, I see courage, I see patience, I see compassion, I see so much coming your way that you could not even begin to understand your favor because the things that make you happy this season won't be at a high cost to you at all. In fact, it can't be sold or bought, but it will be priceless.